I got a teared out scale there. I got me a little bit of gold here, some powdered gold, couple small buttons. I'm gonna dump them all in here. What we got? Pretty good. One more here. Okay, what do we got there? 11? 11 grams? Yeah, 11.81 grams. Okay. So yeah, I'm gonna melt that dude up into a button. A fairly clean crucible. 11.81 grams of gold. See, I'm already starting to develop a crack, right? So I'm gonna hit that dude real good and proper again, right now. Okay. And there's a prospector trip, and I got a nice crack in there now. But I might just refine it again. I don't know. Probably should. Let's try. I'm going to guesstimate it here. Because I'm a professional. That's right. I'm going to guesstimate it right to the top <laughs> of this crucible. That should do it. That looks sufficiently good to you guys. <laughs> uh huh. It's a nice pile of silver. Should be roughly an ounce, thereabouts. Do a little more just in case. That should all fit in there. Let's give her a hit, see what happens. Kind of pack it all down. Right here. Uh -huh. Okay, folks, this dude was what, uh, 11 something or other, so 11 times 4 is what, uh, 44. So, yeah, 37.5, yeah, it's probably enough. Actually, we're going to get down to some pure snow gold. <laughs> snow, the snow gold, snow gold. We got snow gold everywhere. Snow gold, right there, snow gold. Yeah, folks, I'm gonna add a little more nitric acid here because uh, I only added 20. Looks like I got about a little over 100 milliliters of water. So I'm gonna add uh, probably about another 50, something like that, almost 50-50. Yeah, folks, you can see what I got there, about 170 or something. So yeah, we got about 70 milliliters in there of nitric. And of course, a little ice still in our little round <laughs> down there, doing nothing yet. But don't worry, fret not. That heat is kicking, baby. She will be up to steam pretty quick. Oh yeah, it's starting to get pretty warm now. Okay, we're cooking, yeah, baby. It's about 20 degrees or something out here, so I'm gonna leave the lid on it like that for just a few minutes to get the temp up. Cause uh, yeah, it's still got ice on it. <laughs> it's still got a little ice in there. So yeah, it's taking a good while with the lid on it it'll uh, come right up the top pretty fast. Oh baby, yeah, she's making fumes. 
Yeah, folks, I decanted uh, that material there in that beaker off of this uh, that big old hunk of silver and gold there I put in there. Looks pretty goldy now. It's a lot lighter. <laughs> Anyway, I just dosed it again with some more snow. And so once that comes up the temp, if it starts getting some fumes, then we're still working on some base. If not, it's done. We're experimenting, so you know. <laughs> I like to experiment sometimes too. And of course, I believe this will come out very pure because I'm running it a uh, strong dose of nitric, you know, dilute nitric, boiling the devil out of it for hours and hours. This material here was boiling for probably I'd say four hours as I kept adding a little bit of water and a little more nitric. Uh, and then finally got that result uh, where it's got what, 200 milliliters in there or something. But I probably had, I probably added, I'd say at least 500. So I evaporated off 300 uh, during this process. But that loaded with silver. That's probably got, uh, I don't know, whatever we put in there for silver, that's what it's got in there, I'm sure. Minus there might be a tiny bit in here. <laughs> anyway, that's what I'm doing. Sticking to it. We'll get our gold. Yeah, we'll melt that bugger into a button when we're done. And we'll see. Uh, I'll take it up there. I'll get an XRF. We'll see how pure it is. That's a good thing to do. And then we'll, uh, I'll try and stamp that dude. Finally, we'll stamp it, I hope. <laughs> Peace, baby. I love you, man. Yeah, that dude never did make any real fumes. A tiny, tiny bit, maybe. I mean, just a tiny bit. I'm, I'm positive there's active nitric still in this guy, even if it's sitting there boiling away, right? Yeah, I had very, very little fumes, and my uh, my hunk of gold in there is uh, getting light, you know? Yeah, anyway, uh, there it is. <laughs> well, there's our, our gold, folks. It's pretty goldy now. We nailed that dude with nitric for an extended period. Yeah, I wasn't getting any fumes whatsoever for a while. And so uh, I dumped it off a few times. Actually, I just dumped off the, the uh, you know, the silver nitrate and then uh, rinsed it a few times with hot boiling water and boiled it for a while in hot boiling water. And there it is. We're going to see what it weighs now because it weighed about 11 point, 11 11.8, I think, originally, right? So... That's what I remember. Yeah, that's zero. You look kind of zero-y. Okay. Let's put this dude on in there. See what we get here. Should be less than 11.8 if it cleaned up at all. It's basically nothing in there. Okay. We got there. 11.59 so we had 11.81 i think is what it was so what is that 0 0.2 0 0.22 0 0.22 less so anyway i'll figure out what that is it sounds like a couple percent like it might have been 98 percent pure gold and maybe it's 999 or close to that now yeah, i'll calculate it we'll post it on the screen what what we got anyway it's pretty cool i like it that it's still coagulated together still stamped yeah folks so finally what we got to do with that guy now is we got to uh we'll put that dude in solution with uh hydrochloric acid nitric acid and a little bit of uh sulfuric acid in case it's got any lead in there and then we'll, uh, once this is all in solution, you know, with that uh, recipe of aqua regia, we will, uh, you know, we'll, we'll filter it and then we'll drop this gold again. It should be smanking pure. I'll melt it to a button and I hopefully I get an XRF, see how clean it is, and hopefully we can pound the suit out without it cracking. That's right, peace baby.